Hello and welcome. I am Scrapperlock and this is City of Heroes on the Private Everlasting server. It is um, time for us to finally see the one area effect attack in martial arts. Um, we just got it. We're level 26. We just became level 26. We have 446,000 XP and now as you can see to get to level 26 we needed 446 ish thousand XP it's a hundred thousand to get to the next level so now all of a sudden we're gonna need as much XP to gain one level as like we needed to gain say the first 20 levels all right so now the XP leveling curve gets a lot slower this is why people start wanting bonus XP um, we shouldn't have to keep turning off XP anymore and I haven't actually for the last level or two we've now bumped our mission our mission strength is now a level plus one. We're still being treated by the game as um, a single player. If level plus one is not enough, I'm going to bump this up to make it like a two player mission when I'm soloing, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, this should generate a lot more yellows to us. <clears throat> However, this mission was given to me, may have been given to me before I was level 26, I'm not really sure, so we may see some level 26s in here. We should see level 26s and 27s, so there's a 26. This is Council. So we've got Dragon's Tail, this is our AoE, and we're going to see how it works. Sorry, here, this is our AoE. we got to watch out, this is Focus Chi. So we're going to hit Focus Chi, and now watch this, guys. Bam! So we knocked two of them over. We did some solid damage to them. Now it's a slow to recharge attack, so you're not going to be doing it more than once. So you've got to use it judiciously, but you can definitely use it to mitigate damage because... Um, and you can use it at least once a battle because you can see it's up already again. So you can use it to mitigate against damage because you knock them down. So here they go, watch them go all go down. Right? So two went down and one is stunned and they can't do anything to me while that's happening. Right? So you can do these, um, you can chain the knock down from Dragon's Tail and the knock back from um, Crane Kick. Oh, there's a guy I didn't notice. You can knock a single guy down. Oh, there's, oh, that didn't knock him down. So, um, it's not going to work 100%. It's, I think, 75% of the time. We can take a look at the info as soon as I'm finished here and we can see what it does. It does decent damage, but not huge damage because its goal is Creek is crowd control more than anything else. We're looking for four recruits and to find a key. So remember, these guys are trying to recruit people into the council. So detailed info, it does 47 damage. We can compare that with uh, Thunder Kick, which does 63. So it does less damage than Thunder Kick. Um, of course, it's Thunder Kick is doing 63 with... Um, so let's actually look into the enhancement screen, because that's actually enhanced and this one's not. So detailed info. The base damage for Thunder Kick is 36, and, or 34, and the base damage for this is um, 47. So it does yeah, a little bit less than Storm Kick, a little bit more than Thunder Kick. Um, it has a 75% chance for a 0.67 magnitude knockback. That means less than one is a knockdown. And then, um, so <clears throat> it has. Uh, damage and it has a 75% knockdown chance. So we can do focus chi and it should do even more damage and it should hit all of them. And we knock two of the three down. So these guys are plus ones. So let's see, now that I'm done playing around with talking about the way it works, we can actually do what we're supposed to do and attack these guys. So now we shouldn't need Brawl anymore. Didn't knock him down, unfortunately. Okay, so we freed that hostage. Is he going to follow me? No, he's just running out. So we freed that hostage. And I'm going to pull Brawl. I think I'm just going to get rid of Brawl. I don't think I'll need it anymore now that I have Dragon's Tail. Whoops. Let's remove that. And then I want to duplicate 
this this is tray two. I want to duplicate it with tray one. Focus G goes there, right? Whoops. Yep. And then Dragon's Tail goes here. Alright. So now we're gonna we can Dragon's Tail these guys. There we go, they both go over. So now that guy is going to be done before he can even do anything to me. One punch. Okay. So, one of the things I did want to mention, the way Dragon's Tail used to work... Got another key. The way Dragon's Tail used to work, originally, it was a knockback. So you jump into a group of spawns, and you would hit this, and they would all go flying. And a lot of the players didn't like it, because then you had to chase the mobs around. So they changed it to a knockdown. Now, personally, I actually liked the knockback, because then they all had to come back to you. You could use it as really good damage mitigation. Now, one of the things you're going to have to do very quickly is put an Endurance Reducer in Dragon's Tail. I believe it does have a fairly high Endurance cost. It costs 13 Endurance, which is the most of any power we have, so we have to be careful about how we use it. Um, but it's super fun to use. So these guys are all plus ones, so that's making the mission a little bit more challenging than when they're plus zeros. So the next thing we're going to need to do is put an Endurance Reducer on Dragon's Tail in the very next level. I like knocking them over. more able to hit me because they have a higher chance due to our relative level. Right. Man, that does like 20 times 4. Oh, there's more guys down here. And they are upsetting a recruit, so let's get these guys. Jump bot or mech, mech man. He's done. So the way I do this with Dragon's Tail generally is that I... Oops, I did not mean to hit that. I was just trying to drag it over. Is that I... Um, I don't generally use it on small spawns, and I usually use it to just uh, fill in. So I might use it at the beginning with three. Um, any less than three, it's really not worth using. So I'll do it here. Right? And then I'm not going to hit it again. Unless I get to a spot where I have no attacks up, and then I will use it because it costs so much endurance. But attacking with high endurance is better than attacking than not attacking. Right? But as long as we have these other attacks up, I'm not going to hit it again. Because it does so much more endurance. Right? It's not very efficient damage per endurance cost. Which I've always argued is one of the most important um, stats in the game and frequently was ignored by people on the forums back in the day. They were always worrying about damage per second, and I said, well, if you're constantly taking a need to rest, your damage per second doesn't really matter, right? Good, we got him knocked over. Now I'm going to try to knock him back. Didn't. Let's move out of here. There we go. Now he's hitting me really well because he's throwing AoEs at me. And I don't have any defense against that. So we got two more recruits to rescue. Yeah, so this is definitely more challenging because he's got they they've got um like a plus one lieutenant here, which is good. So I think setting it plus one was a good idea. That definitely worked well. It's a little bit more of a challenge. I mean, we're it's still not a huge risk. We're still doing fine, but. See if we can knock this guy down. Got him. Now we're going to stun him. If we can. And we did. So knock down. Stun. Knock back. And he's done. And these guys are giving me tech science. So we don't need that. Got another key that lets us back here. 
And this looks like they are messing with another innocent, so we will knock them over. I'm not sure if they changed this. It used to be you could get the duration or the intensity of a mez enhanced, but you could not enhance the probability that it hit. Right, so for example, you can get, um, we can do increased knockback distance with crane kick, but we can't increase the chance that the knockback fires. It's unenhanceable. That's my recollection. So like what I would love to do with Dragon's Tail is actually spend an enhancement to increase the frequency of the knockback firing, but I don't think you can do that. And that's a boss, but he's a minus one boss. I don't know why. Take this guy out. And he didn't even notice me? That's pretty lame. Alright, let's see if we can knock you down. Nope. Stun? Nope. But you're a minus one boss, so... You're not any problem. We don't need that. And we don't need that. So you can see we're using a few more inspirations now. It's taking more endurance because as yellow cons, they take more hits and orange con uh, lieutenants and stuff. So you have to be very careful of, about firing this. You cannot fire Dragon's Tail and queue it up. It will trigger as soon as you press it. So if you're nowhere near the enemies and you fire it, you're just going to whiff air. Oh, that is awesome. So watch, if I'm over here and I fire it, I just whiff air, right? So you don't want to do that. So that's an attack you cannot queue up, which is why I tend not to use it as an opener. I'll usually queue up something like Dragon's Tail as the opener, and then, or sorry, like a Thunder Kick as the opener, and then once I'm amongst the mobs, right? So I'll show you here. Then I'll do it. That's so why I'm in the middle of it. Boy, I'm getting hit like crazy here. Okay, we got him. Let's go back to this guy. Knock over. Nope. Didn't work. Yeah, so they're actually providing a challenge, a bit of a challenge now. Where's this guy? All right, we got him. Not too bad. Completed the mission. And now back to Striga Island, and we should be able to call our contact. Oh, not yet. Maybe after this we'll be able to call him. Introduce to a new contact. Okay, and available missions. Here now, Silver Phoenix, I need you to get over to the Maw. Sky Raiders have been holding it for some time, and I need a hero strong enough to punch through their defenses. It's time we stop letting them cut us off from the Bonnie Morass. After all, there are people who live out there. The Vicar, Old Toby, and his brother, Lars. If the Sky Raiders are allowed to hold that bridge, Toby and Lars will be stranded out in the morass indefinitely. I need you to evict the Sky Raiders, so we're going to have to go defeat 20 Sky Raiders. And in terms of our... We don't... It's really weird. This story arc doesn't... These story arcs don't seem to give you clues. All right, so now we need to go to the Maw. And that's where we were before, and then just beat up on Sky Raiders. So we're in the mall now, and here are some Sky Raiders. What is that? Oh, that must be a longbow ship. Are these the only Sky Raiders out here? The 
is his council. I don't really care about council right now. Ah, that is a skyscape. Alright, let's pound it. It's a boss. Sky Raider. Boom. Oh, we missed him. No, you don't. You're not getting away from me. There's Sky Raiders up there. Oh, there's a bunch. Hang on. Does this count? That should count? All right. me? How about Dragon's Tail? Look at that. Now see, low-level guys go flying like that. And we got a capo. And there's a Sky Raider coming up to me. There you go. And we'll finish the capo off. many sky readers left? Ten. There's a couple. Hang on. Oh. Alright, let's just go straight up and over. Alright. Any other Sky Raiders over here? There's some Sky Raiders. Gonna run away? I don't think so. Council. Oh, those are Sky Raiders, but I can't fly. Oh, oh yes. They should take care of it. Hi guys, you gonna surround me? Oh, this thing. awesome. Just takes him out. And you're the last guy I gotta do. Done. Back to Long Jack. We can actually call him up. So let's just stop in the water here. Give him a call. Good work, Silver Phoenix. I imagine I'll have to work for you beyond the moth. I'll have work for you beyond the moth from... Uh, now on, you should brace yourself for the rest of Striga Isle. It's a lot more deadly than you can imagine. And then he says, I appreciate your efforts to keep them all open, but I'm afraid we've got a new problem. The Council dreamed up a scheme for cutting Port Noble off from the rest of Striga indefinitely. They're planning to raise that bridge that spans the Maw. If they manage it, they should be able to cement their control of the eastern side of the island. You've got to stop the Council from raising the bridge. Okay. Defeat them in the in the warehouse. So we'll do this one and then we'll stop. Now, guys, one of the things I've been uh, talking with my supergroup about is 
you know, one of the things that we asked the developers for in this game, and we never got, was when you're in a supergroup, the supergroup has a base. And if you watched, I think you've seen me run into it at one point. It's not really ready for our supergroup. And I've mentioned it before. Um, so your supergroup has a base. And that's fine. But what they said was... Let's make sure. Are we still in plus one? We should be. Um, what the players used to say was, well, okay, that's fine if you have a supergroup. And if you're, you know, your supergroup has a base, that's great. But, you know, I'd like to have my own little headquarters, like... Batman has a Batcave and the JLA has a headquarters, right? So is there some way we could personally... And some players were like, you know, I would just like an apartment for my character, right? And just a place where I could, like, maybe put a crafting station, a couple of teleport pads, whatever. And the developers never wanted to do that. Um, but what one of my uh, fellow supergroup members was saying is you can use an alternate character and you can that alternate character can um, create the base and then you can basically give your main character like I could give I could have one of my other characters like Horus the Avenger create a base and then give the code well just knowing the code right um, Silver Phoenix could use the code from that base to um, uh, just go inside and use it so I could create a little, I don't know, dojo is not the word, but a little meditation room or kung fu room, whatever you want to call it, for an a little Asian retreat for her, or her dorm room or something. And, um, yeah, this is sort of like Phoenix's dorm room. I could create it with a different character and then go back to it and use it as a little, as my own little private base. So I may try that at some point. If I do, I'm certainly not going to record it, but I'll show you the results of it. If, it, if I think it's worth showing. So we'll just have to see what happens. In terms of that. Um, now, one other thing I wanted you to point out, we're, we're just one bead into... Um, what did I do? I moved this. We're just one bead into this uh, level, level 26, and we've done several story arcs in Striga Island. So, several story arc missions in Striga Island. Right, we've done most of the story arc, I would think. Um, and we've only gained like a beat. So this is how the leveling curve after level 25 starts to really go back to closer to how it was originally. And so we shouldn't have to do any more tricks where we're turning off a XP gain. Um, And we should be able to just uh, do all the story arcs as they're given to us from now on, I would hope. Oh good, this guy's a lieutenant, so that's interesting. I like fighting oranges, it makes it a little more exciting. Um, it's it's kind of like fighting the old yellow Vajalox. You have to, maybe not quite that hard, but you can't just mindlessly attack. A lot of the different um, Orange Lieutenants, they're, you know, they're tough enough that you have to actually pay some attention. This guy's yellow, so he won't be too tough. So he's done, and now we're fighting the bot. Got him done. Nobody up here. Over. Two of them. And then we finish this guy. Don't need that, don't need that. Alright. Let's go this way this time. I always go the other way. So now we have a minus... Why is this a minus one boss? The guy standing next to him was plus zero. This guy should be... A, if he was a plus zero boss, it would be orange. If he was a plus one boss the way I asked for, he'd be red. 
That'd be much more interesting to fight. If he's minus one, it's just like just beating on a lieutenant. Okay, we got a clue. And so just you wait, little hero. The council has big plans in mind for the precious city, for your precious city. So they're obviously planning something bigger than just whatever they're doing down here. guys left anybody else no all right we'll stun this guy done mission complete all right let's head on out okay guys we finished this mission we're going to talk to our contact and then we will stop for today. And he says, you've done good work, my friend. I'm sure old Toby would like to thank you for keeping Striga Island in, in one piece. Be nice to me, and I may introduce you someday. And so now he says, I've got a task for you. If you're willing, get down to the bog and clear a path out of the swampy region through the Pantheon and the Council War Wolves. I don't expect it to be easy, but heroes like you need access to the bog if you're ever going to clear the council out. So we're going to have another defeat 15 of each. I may do that off screen. I'm certainly not going to do that right now. I'm going to head on back. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Scrapperlock, and I'll see you next time on City of Heroes.